Everybody, so look on the screen. Can you imagine the lady didn't even know that this had occurred until the police contacted her? They're investigating something else, which leads to this. And this makes me wonder, he may not be the only one. I've heard about people in the ambulance. They've had a case like this before. Uh, people, you know, sh show up and they're saying that there was a case of uh, ambulance workers, what they would do. The person is in the uh, back of the ambulance. Next thing you know, a ring of some jewelry come up missing, you think? Yeah, they need cameras back there. And that's who it was. They had people who are in car accidents. Oh, no, I'm hurt. Next thing you know, too many reports of jewelry coming up missing. They have that with, with cops. And basically, they have to go undercover. And next thing you know, one that was an uh, officer, he pretended to be in an accident and really injured. And he had like a Rolex. So what he did, he put his head um on like the uh steering wheel and he had the rolex on top like he was unconscious so he's got his head uh, on the steering wheel he has his arms folded and you can see the rolex and next thing you know the idiot thought they had hit a lick and took that rolex off busted didn't know they said so many people had complained many were illegal immigrants that had complained so they have to do a sting operation and it turned out to be true and the sad thing is, in most cases, a lot of women, they're, they're not believed. So can you imagine knocking on your door and they're here to tell you, hey, in case you didn't know, you, you've you been victimized. Crazy. Uh, Here's the sheriff boys. speaking. According to law enforcement, cell phone video shows former first responder James Melody molesting an unconscious and incapacitated woman while she was in the ambulance being taken to the hospital. Mm -hmm. According to the report, Flagler County Fire Rescue was called out for an unresponsive and intoxicated woman who needed help. The 37-year-old is a former Flagler County paramedic and firefighter. Melody was on duty and in uniform. According to the report, he was seen setting up and moving the camera during the sexual assault where you could clearly see his face. Sheriff Rick Staley. Isn't that something? He was seen setting up the camera so you could see his face. That makes me think that's what he wanted. On duty and in uniform. According to the report, wow. he was seen setting up and moving the camera during the sexual assault where you could clearly see his face. So he wanted his face to be seen. I guess to say, wow, I I'm doing this. What does that tell you? A sicko. He wanted it. He moved the camera so you could clearly see his face. Why would he do that? So maybe go back and look at it. Oh, that's me. Look what I'm doing. Rick Staley with strong words for the accused first responder. What a pervert. I mean, this guy really uh, should be thrown under the jail and the key thrown away to do something like that to unsuspecting victim, in this wow. case, completely unconscious, uh, to attack her for his own, obviously, self-gratification, and on top of that, record it. Yeah, he probably want going back and looking at it, showing his friends, and see, it makes me wonder, okay, how long has this been going on? Did he just start this? How long has this been going on? I think this should investigate, besides relying on women to come forward, and sometimes, you know how that goes, they all start to attack on, oh, okay, ma'am, well, your credibility and all this nonsense. What I think they should do, uh, it may take a while, or oh, well, we're spending taxpayers' money on everybody else and everything else that they want. They, in my opinion, they should go back and check every call that he has been on involving a female, involving minor, you name it. They, they should do that. On every call that he has been on, I think they should go back and go check. Mm-hmm. This is crazy. Wow. According to law enforcement, this happened in 2021, but he was just arrested. So that's been three years ago. How long has he been on that force? Again, I think they should go back and go the check. The report says Daytona Beach police were investigating another sex offense when they found the videos and photos on Melody's phone. The sheriff believes there could be more victims. If somebody thinks or they have, you know, groggy memory of they think something happened, let us know. Let yes, and they should go back again on every call. They should go and check every cell phone he uh, had before.
This was three years ago. So guess what? We don't even know how many times this has happened, how many victims there are. Three years ago. They're just not finding this. Are you kidding? If that's his job, there could be countless victims. So note to self. This lets you know when we're in situations like this where you have to rely on an, an ambulance, you you don't know who's behind the wheel. You don't know who's in the back supposed to be helping you. Could be doing something else, you know, nefarious. Three years ago, again, uh, they need to go back and just check every call that he's been on. Unbelievable. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Dusty's bring drama, assaults, and trauma, the financial implication. Lock these fools up in the nation. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share, and I'm out.